to Venice. Uh -oh. <laughs> These guys have lost it in here. <laughs> let them go in peace. But we're staying in some really weird hotel from the 1800s. Like, look at this wallpaper. This, oh my God, it's actually a, oh wow. Okay, that was really weird. Oh gosh, um, this is the door. You come in, <laughs> this is a four leaf, look again really weird door four leaf clover bathroom uh, like it's probably the nicest place we've stayed the day like <laughs> you look great oh shit yeah do my makeup in here Woo. <laughs> there's a light behind here no, that was. Oh, shit. Yeah. That, we oh, got a full leaf yeah, camera angle. <laughs> carries onto the door. We got a four leaf clover bathroom. Isn't it weird? It's material. Oh, yeah, it is, and it's like. Touch the back of the door. No. I'm no, no, do it. <laughs> do it. Touch it. No, 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 no. The door you're looking at. That's the door. Ew. Yeah, is that weird or not? Why? It's like cushy. It's, that's why I'm not touching it. <laughs> So yeah, Catherine and I are going to have to share. This is going to be the closest we've ever been. And then this is Sam and Chloe's room. Yep. Doesn't look much different. Just Except you guys have like a... You don't have a true four-leaf clover bathroom like we do because yours are blue. Ours are actually green. Look at their rank ass shower. I couldn't do that. No, ours is... Oh my god, this place has a microwave alley. <laughs> oh, lol. That one time on the cruise where someone called the safe the microwave. <laughs> oh, awkward. So, what did we do today? We did actually stop. We stopped at Verona. The Romeo and Juliet place. I look really bad. Um, and I was slack. I couldn't be bothered to put my camera out. We just wanted to go to some Christmas markets and saw Juliet's balcony, which was only put in 100 years ago as a tourist attraction. So... And for some weird reason, everybody goes and rubs Juliet's boob. They like grab it and then rub it and get a photo. Apparently it's meant to bring you love. I didn't do that, I couldn't be asked. Like it's just weird. Especially when you think like she was 14, he was rubbing her boob. Like, yeah, all sorts of weird. But we've made it to Venice. Tomorrow we're going on a gondola ride. I don't know what else. Um, a tour, we're doing a walking tour, I'm fairly sure. Um, this bed is really like cushy, like really cushy, huh? Are you talking to me or someone else? Oh, okay, they're not talking to me. Um, but yeah, hey, actually, we don't we don't have a cupboard like they do. No, we for some reason don't get. We don't have cupboards, so we don't have another bed. Casper's <laughs> like still not over that that one. Yeah. Let's see what's outside this window. Oh, it's our top deck bus. Hey, there's the top deck bus. We can keep an eye on it. This is probably weighs... Three kilos, I reckon. I reckon a kilo at least. Yeah. A kilo at least. Like, apparently you can go leave it at reception, but I don't think reception will be 24 hours. Like, what if you come back late? No, this is... Might just take it off. Yeah, <laughs> and just take the key. Um, but yeah, that's what we did today. Pretty much sat on the bus all day. Hey, yay to Ali, not really filming. I need to actually get all of this footage off. I've done that a few days, and now that Chloe's just next door, I can do that. Yay. Okay, let's do this and go to go to dinner. I don't know where we're eating. I hope it's good. <laughs> good morning. I look so pale in this camera. Gosh, um, what are we doing today? We have a tour, we have a walking tour, gondola. and then we're doing a gondola ride, and then I don't know what's in there. In the apparently, apparently, but yeah, that's that's what's happening today. It's exciting, can't wait. Look, and I actually introed the video before it actually happened instead of going, 
Oh yeah, by the way, I just went on a walking tour. <laughs> Yay me! Woo! Okay, we gotta go downstairs now. Yay! <laughs> walking tour, went on gondola ride as you saw, and we've just stopped at Del Moro, it's down there, it's really packed, and we got pasta, so this is um, Ali's standard pasta, anything else I won't eat, <laughs> pretty much bolognese is all I eat, I am not any form of Italian at all, um, it tasted alright, but so now we're just gonna, I think, just wander around. Venice. Which one did you get? I got the chicken alfredo with extra mushroom. I don't think there was anywhere to sit. What did you get? Fromage. Okay. What did you get? Bacon and olives. I forget. White sauce, and mushrooms, olive, and cheese. Uh, no? I have bolognese. Like you eat. You're hungry. Just the bolognese. <laughs> in the room all by myself I decided to come back pretty much after that pasta that we had my stomach was just not happy <laughs> like not happy at all I don't know why my stomach just decided to be like <sighs> after it so it's like nearly four o'clock hold on it's past four o'clock it's 4 30 so like I stayed out most of the day it's getting dark outside now so I think I did all right. The others just wanted to go back to the shops anyway, and I'm not really keen on shopping like overly. There's like unless there's something amazing that I I'd seen, but they they went back to the shops we'd already walked a lot through. So yeah, I came back here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Just like lie down. I'll probably fall asleep waiting for them to get back. Um, but at the same time, I sort of feel like I just need a rest. You know, it's day 10 and we've just been going non-stop. Like, yeah, we get a rest on the bus, but I can... I don't know why, but I can't sleep on the bus. I can. But most of the time when I'm, like, just about to go to sleep, um, our stupid wake-up song plays. So he plays a song to wake us up to let us know that we're at a rest stop or something. And so, yeah. Um, even though we're sitting there doing nothing, I sort of just feel like I need to just lie here and just do nothing for a while and I'll be happy if only we had better internet in this place but oh well um I also need to apologize for my bad vlogging it's so hard to talk when like not my friends fault or anything but when they're all talking it's sort of like unless I leave the room it's sort of hard um and I'm sure a lot of the footage it's probably going to be hard to hear me as it is so that's always fun. So that's why a lot of the footage I'm taking, I'm just going to put music over the top of it because it's just too hard otherwise. And I don't know, I thought that style might just be nice, like quick little glimpses so I can look back on some of the things that I've seen. So yeah, I hope it's been okay so far. But Venice, I really enjoyed Venice. I would come back here. I would probably stay like on the island itself. I think that would be really, really nice. It just seems like really chill. Like really, really laid back, and I like that. Be nice to come, obviously, when it's a bit warmer, um, cause I'm here in winter, so it's a colder. But it would be nice to come when it's a little bit warmer. I could imagine like being on the gondola when it's like nice and sunny, um, not when it's freezing cold and you're just trying to get body heat from like the person next to you. But the gondola, the gondola ride was fun. Um, what else? So let's, let's recap in this, in this video where I've been. So we've been to Paris, but well, London first. I really liked London. I would 100% go back. 
Um, I just dread the flight from Australia to London, like 30 hours or something of flying. That's not cool, guys. That's totally not cool. Um, and then what? And then we went to Paris. I liked Paris, but I feel like I've ticked off the things that I've wanted to see. Um, and I don't feel like I'd need to go back. So I'm not sure if I'd ever go back there unless, like, I really had to or I was trying to with someone who really wanted to go. Uh, Switzerland I loved, um, apart from how cold it was and sliding all over the place. Once again, I think it would be way better to go in a different time of year, just not the coldest time of the year. Um, it would be really beautiful. So that Switzerland was just nice for natural beauty, not historical buildings or anything like that. It was just really naturally stunning. Um, then we went to... Brum. This is so hard. I keep forgetting all the places we've been. Florence. Went to Florence. I loved Florence. It was a surprise. I was like, what do you even do in Florence? Like, what's there to do? So bad. I'm going to admit now, I've barely researched for all the places we're going on this trip. Like, I probably should have, but just ran out of time between America and then coming here with work and everything. I just pretty much haven't had time and my friends have done a lot of the research. I'm like, hey, I'm happy to go see what you're, you're going to go see. So... Yeah, but Florence was a surprise. I think we all really enjoyed Florence, and I liked Florence, and we had a really funny night in Florence, so I'll never forget that. Rome, as much as I love ancient history, I don't think I need to go back. I feel comfortable saying I don't ever need to go back. Um, it was nice. It was cool to see those things that I did see, but once again, I don't need to go back. And Venice, so far, I would I would come back to. So... There you go. That's that's my thoughts so far. I don't know what the plan is for tonight. Probably just going to go out to dinner. I know Kasna was keen to go out afterwards, which I'm, I'm pretty keen for because we had a pretty good night's sleep last night. Like, probably at least seven to eight hours. Um, but yeah. There you go. I've caught you up. I've actually done some vlogging. I think I showed you guys the room, but yeah, this is it. It's very random with the wallpaper and everything. They've come and made the bed today, which means you have to pull, like, this thing off, because, like, who... I don't sleep with that on. I don't know anybody who does. Um, and, yeah, that's, um, it's pretty much where it's at. So I'm just going to go lie on the bed now and do nothing. And because they didn't take a key, I'll just have to wait to hear a bloody knock on the door, because they all don't have phone service either, so I'll just have to wait for them to knock good times. One thing I do like about traveling in winter is my hair just always sort of looks nice and you can just chuck a beanie on to hide how bad it looks on top and it's just like yeah good to go like this is good enough whereas if this was summer I wouldn't want it touching me like at all. So there's a positive for traveling in winter. The other positive is it's low season in most places so we don't have to wait in big queues for like a lot of the museums or attract like, tourist attractions so that's another positive to coming in winter. I'm going to keep trying to vlog the best that I can without not enjoying myself, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to go now. I've been talking for eight minutes. You're welcome. <laughs>